One of the most common questions which I get is Lior, should I optimize my listings or not and when? So I want to answer this question today When you should optimize your listings, the titles, descriptions, item specifics and pictures and why you should do it or why you shouldn't do it So I'm Lior Pozin, I'm owner and CEO of PhotoDS Please write down in the comments if you are optimizing your listings right now and what you are doing in your listings while you do these optimizations so I want to split this answer for three different types of stores. The first one is stores which have up to 200 listings in the store, in eBay store. So for the, these stores, I would optimize every listing. Every listing which I upload to my eBay store, I would spend time on uh, the item specifics, on the title, description, and optimizing the pictures. Actually, on these stores, this is very important because you still don't get enough traffic to not optimize your listings and still get sales. When I say stores up to 200 listings, I mean stores which don't have enough uh, limits to grow. So for these stores with up to 200 limits, I would spend my time on any, any listing. Now, after product has been sold on these stores, I would go to the product and optimize it even more. I will add more item specifics, I will add more, more keywords to the title, and this way I will skyrocket this product even more. The second category is uh, stores with between 200 and 1000 listings. For these stores I would spend time only for 20% of the products which I upload. So 20% of the products I will upload manually I will spend time on the titles, optimizations, item specifics, images and descriptions and for the other 80% of the products I will just upload this product with bulk upload and then I will optimize the product only after the product has been proven, proven him, uh, itself and only after the product really sold. I will not spend any time on products which I don't know if these products will sell well for me or, or they will not sell well, well for me. So for these products which has between, for these stores which has between 200 and 1000 listings, I will upload 20% of the products with optimization, full optimization, 80% of them without any optimization, just bulk upload with ASINs or maybe even title, but I prefer only ASINs. And only when product has been sold, I will go and make full optimization for this product so I can skyrocket itself because the product has been already proven itself and has already sold. The third category is stores which, has, which have big number of limits, more than 1000 limits for these stores. I will not do any optimization before the listing was uploaded to my uh, store. For this uh, stores, I will just go, I will spend my time on finding the best products, on giving the best customer support and on learn other niches, maybe other suppliers or just creating another stores and get more virtual assistant. I will not spend my time on products which I don't know that really uh, can give a profit for me and that really pro proved themselves to me and uh, have any soul. So, only when the product has been sold on these stores, on stores with more than 1000 listings, I will go and I will do a full optimization for this product. What I will do in the optimization, I will go to my competitors, I will take more uh, keywords from them, more item specifics, more uh, uh, better description. I will go also to uh, other tools like Title Builder, I will find more keywords or maybe in Google and eBay. I will talk about this on the next videos also. So for these big stores I will optimize the listings only after the listing has been sold. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as I release every day one new video, 100 videos daily and also don't forget to write in the comments if you have any question and I promise to answer every question that you write, we write in these comments. I will answer in the comment or maybe in other YouTube uh, video. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.